Piers Morgan wasn't held back in his criticism of Matt Hancock after the MP was revealed to have joined the IMA celebrity. Get me out of here lineup. The announcement has led to the former health secretary being suspended from his role as a Tory MP after party managers took a dim view of the West Suffolk MP's decision. But former Good Morning Britain presenter Piers, 57, believes it's now up to Matt, 44, to go one further and hand in his resignation. Sharing his disgust on Twitter, Piers quote tweeted Mott's announcement, in which he said he wasn't in it for the money, and wrote, what a load of disingenuous horse s, of course you're doing it for the money, at a time when you should be doing your job as an MP during a terrible financial crisis, helping your constituents and voting in parliament. You should resign immediately. It was a view held by a number of the talk TV star's followers, with one commenting, he shouldn't be allowed. Or resign, or surrender his salary. And not take a fee from my TV. Who in essence should not allow him to go in. It's wrong. And another, he doesn't appear to be the biggest fan of peers, added, I hate having to go to sleep knowing I actually agree with you on something. Peer's comments echo those of grieving relatives of COVID victims who quickly accused Matt of cashing in on his appalling legacy as a blundering health secretary who left the nation with one of the highest death tolls in Europe. A spokesman for the COVID-19 Bereaved Families for Justice group, said, Hancock isn't a celebrity, he's the former health secretary who oversaw the UK having one of the highest death tolls in the world from COVID while breaking his own lockdown rules. The fact that he is trying to cash in on his terrible legacy, rather than seeking to reflect on the appalling consequences of his time in government says it all about the sort of person he is. However, in a comment piece Matt produced for The Sun, he claimed he had given a lot of thought to the decision and said it's important for him to engage with voters. He explained that many people won't be aware that he is dyslexic and has been campaigning behind closed doors for children who have dyslexia to receive more support. Matt revealed his aim to shed more light on his campaign, saying, I want to raise the profile of my dyslexia campaign to help every dyslexic child unleash their potential, even if it means taking an unusual route to get there, via the Australian jungle. After discussing how the program has a huge audience, he continued, I want to use this incredible platform to raise awareness, so no child leaves primary school not knowing if they have dyslexia.